33-Day Consecration to Jesus Through Mary Day 2 of 33 Matthew chapter 5 verse 48 and chapter 6 verse 1 to 15 Even the pagans do as much, do they not? You must therefore be perfect, just as your heavenly Father is perfect. Be careful not to parade your good deeds before men to attract their notice. By doing this, you will lose all reward from your Father in heaven. So when you give alms, do not have it trumpeted before you. This is what the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets to win men's admiration. I tell you solemnly, they have had their reward. But when you give alms, your left hand must not know what your right is doing. Your almsgiving must be secret and your Father, who sees all that is done in secret, will reward you. And when you pray, do not imitate the hypocrites. They love to say their prayers standing up in the synagogues and at the street corners for people to see them. I tell you solemnly, they have had their reward. But when you pray, go to your private room, and when you have shut your door, pray to your Father who is in that secret place and your Father who sees all that is done in secret will reward you. In your prayers, do not babble as the pagans do, for they think that by using many words they will make themselves heard. Do not be like them. Your Father knows what you need before you ask Him, so you should pray like this. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be Thy name. Thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Yes, if you forgive others their failings, your heavenly Father will forgive you yours. But if you do not forgive others, your Father will not forgive your failings either. Veni Creator Come, O Creator Spirit blessed, and in our souls take up Thy rest. Come with Thy grace and heavenly aid to fill the hearts which Thou hast made. Great Paraclete, to Thee we cry, O highest gift of God most high, O font of life, O fire of love, and sweet anointing from above. Thou in thy sevenfold gifts art known, the finger of God's hand we own, the promise of the Father thou, who dost the tongue with power endow. Kindle our senses from above, and make our hearts overflow with love. With patience firm and virtue high, the weakness of our flesh supply. Far from us drive by the foe we dread, and grant us thy true peace instead. So shall we not, with thee for guide, turn from the path of life aside. Oh, may thy grace on us bestow, the Father and the Son to know, and thee through endless times confessed, of both the eternal Spirit blessed. All glory, while the ages run, be to the Father and the Son, who rose from death, the same to thee, O Holy Ghost, eternally. Amen. Ave Maris Stella Hail, bright star of ocean, God's own mother blessed, ever sinless virgin, gate of heavenly rest. Taking that sweet Ave, which from Gabriel came, peace confirm within us, changing Eva's name. Break the captive's fetters, light on blindness pour all our ills expelling, ever bliss implore. Show thyself a mother, may the word divine, born for us thy infant, hear our prayers through thine. Virgin all excelling, mildest of the mild, freed from guilt, preserve us, pure and undefiled. Keep our life all spotless, make our way secure till we find in Jesus joy forevermore. Through the highest heaven to the Almighty Three, Father, Son, and Spirit, one same glory be. Amen.
Magnificat. My soul doth magnify the Lord, and my spirit hath rejoiced in God my Savior, because he hath regarded the humility of his handmaid. For behold, from henceforth all generations shall call me blessed, because he hath that is mighty hath done great things to me, and holy is his name, and his mercy is from generation to generations to them that fear him. He hath showed might in his arm. He hath scattered the proud in the conceit of their heart. He hath put down the mighty from their seat and hath exalted the humble. He hath filled the hungry with good things and the rich he hath sent empty away. He hath received Israel, his servant, being mindful of his mercy. As he spoke to our fathers, to Abraham and to his seed forever. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and forever shall be, world without end. Amen.